Three, two, one. Welcome back to Bean Gaming. The new Crypt Kings are out, and we are specifically going to take a look at King Amon Ra and his map. Everyone's probably had a chance to play all four of these maps now, and we'll touch base on those another day, but we have to come over here to the Mummy Merchant because this is the only way that you can reach King Amon Ra. So when we interact with him, you want to grab the Scarab, this blue bug here, and when you click on the blue bug, then it costs one of these Scarab, what are, what are these called? These, these coins, whatever these King coins are, you want to use one of those, and right now I have four of them. And the Scarab will teleport players to Amon Ra's tomb where they can play to the defeat this ancient god king that's the only way you can get to his map and i believe these are tradable if i'm not mistaken these coins here so we're going to go ahead and buy one of those purchase success and now we're going to teleport how do we do that we go to our backpack we go to our collectibles and then see the ancient or see the scarab right here we're going to click on him and then we're going to use now here's the thing this is a little bit different than the king midas map which by the way is completely gone now the chalice is still there but you cannot play king midas map it says warning if you leave without playing you will need another scarab so you want to make sure that when you enter here, unless you have a ton of these king tokens to teleport you using the, the blue scarab, you want to make sure you keep playing this map over and over and over again as much as you can. Get the most out of your coin that you just used. Let's hop on in game here and check him out. The startup screen displays, and as always, you can click on any of these normal mode, hard mode, horror mode buttons here and you can see what the options are or what the rewards are in order when you win. Now what's interesting is that no matter which of the modes you click on it looks like the rewards are the exact same except for the soul gems. The soul gem, no it's 250 here, 10 here, so it looks like no matter what you are getting the same probabilities. You can get a 5% chance for a king urn and 5% chance for King Urn, 2% chance for a pet here, 10% chance for an Amonra part. You can get one part here on horror mode. It shows one, but actually you get three on horror mode. So I think everything else is the same except for the parts. I believe that's the only thing that changes from what I've seen. Unless on normal mode, you can also get three. I'm not sure. You're going to have to let me know because I've only played horror mode and I've gotten three parts when I did get a chance to win the Amon Ra part here, but we'll stay difficulty level 3, we'll hit the play button here, and we'll go and check him out. I like the map, we're going to do horror mode, notice that it doesn't say 3 times the rewards or 4 times the rewards here, which is like I said, interesting. But anyway, that, I mean that really would mean, why don't you just play normal mode the entire way through, but I'm going to stick with horror mode, because like I said, I believe that you do get 3 times the amount of parts, even though the other rewards stay the exact same but maybe that's just something that they need to fix i don't know but i really like the team that i have right here i have shiny king rev regular king rev shiny crazy frank and regular crazy frank and then a demon mage and this team is just completely overpowered with paranormal power because shiny king rev he gives a boost to paranormals and he also gives a boost to this other king rev here, we'll put down more, put down more, put down more, put down more. This will be pretty easy to take care of right out of the gate. I could put down another King Rev, or I should say put down some Crazy Franks here. And they're just going to take care of these enemies right out of the gate. No worries at all. It looks like there's going to be a lot, but remember, with King Rev, he does that AoE damage, and the ring isn't very big, but at the same time, when you get enemies clumped together like these mummies, then they're just going to attack and completely take care of them and knock them out. It does look like these are longer tracks, and what I do like about this map here is the enemies are coming down the sides, and they're also coming out of the sides here. But the boss, King Amon Ra, comes right down the middle, and this is a very, very long path. Alright, we'll level these guys up. We'll put down our Demon Mage for the boost. There we go level up level up and each of these maps including this King Amonara map they take roughly about eight minutes between eight and nine minutes depending on the team that you bring 
So my team is pretty good, and actually I think this is probably my best team. I know that Crazy Frank only boosts Crazy Frank, so I'm sorry, Crazy Frank only boosts other Franken creatures and not King Rev, but King Rev isn't really needed per se on this map to do damage. These Crazy Franks with the boost that they're getting are just going to be completely, well, crazy. Completely insane. We'll put this other King Rev up top here. Maybe I should move these King Revs up. No, it's not going to matter. Let me just make sure that I can get these other Franks in range. And these Franks are going to be taking a bath in boosts. That's how insane it's going to be. I mean, look at this. They're already getting boosted by the Demon Mage, by regular King Rev, and by Shiny King Rev. And they're just going to be map clears. They're just going to completely destroy everything and anything that are around them. With that range of 87, look, they reach so much. They could, We could literally put all of our crazy Franks in the middle here, and they would be able to destroy anything that's in its way. And this is a regular crazy Frank. I Nightmare, of course, but leveled up with all boosts. So a 54% boost here with a range of 87 is doing 29,000 right now. And I'll check this out. Let me make sure I can get these crazy, these shiny crazy Franks in a range. Let me put one of them down right here, and just look at that boost. Look at all that. That's insane. And when I fully max him out, look at this. He's doing 36. No, you're not. Hang on. I'm, I'm missing something here. What am I missing? Oh, I have to put another one down because he doesn't boost himself. There we go. That's better. Now look at He's doing 56,000. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, look at this now. See, now look at all these boosts that they're getting. All right, let's put the rest of them down here. So we have two, three, four, five, six. And let's just go ahead and level them up. This is, like I said, this is the best team that I have for this particular map just because of how much damage per second that these crazy Franks do. And even regular crazy Franks doing 44,866. So we're on wave 11. We'll just stick through wave 12 here to show you. Let's zoom out a little bit just to show you the amount of range and the amount of damage that these crazy Franks are doing. Look at this. King Rev doesn't even really stand a chance. I mean, the only thing they're doing, which is helpful, is killing these enemies that are in the back here. But besides that, Crazy Frank has got this covered. Let's go ahead and fast forward to wave 19. Here we go. And we just finished wave 18, and before I forget, after every video, people always ask me, Bean, how do you upgrade your heroes without opening up the panel here and clicking on upgrade? Well, you hold down the control key on the keyboard, and then you just click with your mouse. That's it. It's as easy as that. So keep that in mind. And then look at the... Oh, see, Crazy Franks are just taking out those enemies so fast that it's insane. And now we're on wave 20. Coming up to wave 20 here, and you're going to see the boss come out here in just a moment. Wave 20, here we go. Now look at these giant guys. They're the Guardians, 1.87 million health, but they don't even stand a chance. These crazy Franks are just going to destroy them, completely wipe them off the map. And now the boss is here, King Amon-Ra himself. And look at this guy. He's not going to stand a chance. 110 million, no, 11 million rather. And he is gone. Goodbye. And oh look, I got some parts! Nice! I was just going to talk about those. But 475 XP, 3 parts, 250 coins or gems, and then what's really cool, if you are grinding these curse tokens here, these voodoo tokens, then this map is the best because you get 10 of them every time you win. In 8 minutes, you get 10 of these voodoo tokens here. Completely amazing. Now, normally I would keep playing again over and over and over again because I don't really want to waste one game on the token that I had to use to get in here. But let's go back to the lobby because I want to open up some parts here. And this is a complete guide to King Amon-Ra. All right, don't forget to go ahead and clam your playtime gifts. And how do we, I mean, what do we do with these, with these body parts? I think it's interesting that they decided to do that with the release of these new Crypt Kings. And what's also interesting that I like is that with the last Crypt Kings, you only had one tomb to open. And so you had a chance of getting four of the Crypt Kings and you didn't know which one you were going to get. It was all random. Well, here you can for sure get a particular Crypt King by going to that particular tomb. Of course, you have to win tokens or Crypt Coins, whatever they're called, from that particular Crypt. But anyway, so check this out here. If we go to King Amun-Ra in the middle here, we have to piece him together. All right. Now, I don't have any parts yet. I kept them all 
as these vessels here. And I don't know what the probabilities are. I think the probabilities are the exact same as of right now. I have no insider information about that. I'm going to crack open all. And hopefully I get all six pieces here. I'm crossing my fingers with 42 of these. I'm hoping, please, because I want to show everyone how this works. Let's open them all and reveal. Bam. What did we get? One, two, three, four, five, six. We did get all six pieces. And yes, it is 16 and two thirds percent across the board. And it looks like I got more parts than these other ones down. Look at this, 11 right legs and three left legs. Well, we're gonna have to keep grinding because I want to get five of these things. That way um, I, can, I can start leveling them up. But let's go ahead and open and head. I have nine heads. How many right arms? Eight, eight, three. So I'll have to work on that. 11, I'm gonna have to trade these right legs, not only three here. Now I have all the pieces. Unlike the Franks, there's no brain or there's no shiny potion. We're gonna go ahead and begin, and I'm assuming, yeah, look at this, it takes one hour and one second. How did that work out like that? All right, well, we're gonna wait for that entire hour to go down. Not on the video here, we're gonna, I'm gonna avoid that for you, but we'll skip ahead to when that happens, and then we'll see if we get a shiny, I don't know. We'll, we'll open them, because, I mean, we have to anyway, right? All right, sit tight, here we go. All right, we are back, the hour and one second has finished up, and now we are going to, oh, wait a minute, Make sure we go ahead and clam our playtime gifts. Now we can go ahead and clam. There he is. Amon Ra has been summoned. Look at that. All shiny gold. Really cool. Now remember, you can, if you want to skip that entire hour, once you are done putting his pieces together, you can go ahead and use Robux. I think it's like 225 Robux to get him instantly. It's not, uh, no, come on. Let's not mess around with that. Now does he come in the form of an urn? Is that the thing, or do we automatically get him? Where is he? Am I missing him, or is he already in? There's King There's King Bassett, King Rafael. Let me see, is there a King Amun-Ra anywhere? No, so is he in my heroes? Where do we get him? I think I, I claimed him. Oh, open. No? All right, Amun-Ra, where did you go? Oh, there he is. So I'm assuming that maybe, let me let me see. Is there a shiny King Amun-Ra? There is, and eight exists. So looks like when you claim him, then it automatically turns into a shiny or not. So I'm not sure if the 2X boost works for him or not. And that's totally fine either way, but only 78 exists. I'm gonna put some more on the fryer so we can cook him. I wish that, just like the Franks, there was three different conveyors or three different platforms you can you can put for these Franks together, but here it looks like there's only one that you can use at any given time. Anyway, let's go check out King Amun-Ra, and let's go ahead and view, uh oh, well, it looks like he's not in picture. Anyway, so he does boost, he does 10% boost for the Pharaoh, and I have to be honest, I'm not overly happy about that, because if you remember the Pharaoh is, if we go to, let me see, does he show up in the shop by chance? The Pharaoh is the 1% secret from the Robux urns. So I, it's like they're forcing you to get these Robux urns. Now I know that when you beat, I don't know if it's all the kings or if it's just King Amun-Ra, but you can get some ancient king urns. So I am happy that they did that. But the, I mean, gosh, I'm gonna wait until the 2X or 3X luck in order to, in order to open these. But anyway, at the same time, not overly happy about that, but Looks like he has a speed of about almost six. It's about 5.6 seconds. And he does boost 10% for the Pharaoh. And his range is 30. And you can take a look at the damage here. And look at the tags that he has. Human, holy, undead. Human, holy, and undead. So the four Crypt Kings that are out now. Red is undead, so you would not be able to use him there. Orange is holy, so you wouldn't be able to use him there. And green is paranormal, so he would work in green. And then purple is shadow, so you would be able to use him in there. So I think what I want to do is let's do shadow, because undead wouldn't work in red. And then I was using this team for Ra, and Ra is... Oh, what was Ra again? 
Ra was holy, so he was orange. I was I was going in the orange crypt, but I can't use him there. And let me see. Yeah, purple purple is shadow. So I can use these this current setup for shadow. Let me go ahead and remove. I hate doing this, but I want to remove my regular Crazy Frank. Let's take him out. Let's unequip him. And then we're going to put in King Amon Ra. Now, he's not going to be able to boost anything. Whoa, look at that, 60,000. Oh, wow. I wonder if I pair him up with the King Midas. That would definitely boost him. I'm not interested in getting any boost right now. Any curses I should try and put on him? Let me see. Let's go back. Let's go back to our heroes again and check him out. Let's view. If I were to put a curse on him, probably Nightmare would be good. I don't know how many placements are there. We're going to find that out eventually. But probably Nightmare would be good. Inferno would be really good. And if I were to level him up, normally you'd want to go with boost. But if you are not interested in getting the Pharaoh and you want to bypass the boost, I'm assuming he's probably AoE since his speed is slow. You probably want to go all range on him or most of your upgrades with range. Let's hop in a game here and find out exactly what's going on with King Amon-Ra. Here we go, we're gonna go ahead and start the game. This map is interesting because exits are on each side, so I need to get a King Rev down right away, and he is gonna have to carry. All right, here we go. Look at how big he is. That's actually kinda cool. So King Amon-Ra, take a look at him without the pillar getting in the way. He is getting a little bit of a boost because who's boosting him? He is what is what was he again? He was holy no, he was under Yeah, I, I don't remember. Don't remember. But let's see here. There, that he looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and let's see, 80,000, 150,000, 175,000, and then 500,000. His range doesn't even increase at all. And there we go. Look at that. That yeah, shit is pretty cool. 500,000. There we go. So he's taking all those mummy crawlers. That's pretty sweet. Let's put another King Amon-Ra right over here. And he does damage right away. Let's level him up. Upgrade. Upgrade. We can do one more upgrade. And look, he's staring him down now. He's thinking, oh, what should I do here? What should I do here? Remember, it's about five and a half, almost six seconds in order to in order for him to go from cooldown to attacking. I can probably place more up here. I don't. I think the back is covered. We're good to go with the back, and I'm fine with that. So 80, 150, 175, 500,000 there. Now he's doing a damage of 157,000 every time he attacks. So I think range would absolutely be the way to go, unless you want to try and boost that Pharaoh if you get a Pharaoh, or you're interested in getting him. But look at this, completely annihilating them, which takes out my Shadow Franks, or my <laughs> my shiny crazy Franks. Here we go. That looks a lot better. We're going to go ahead and level up our shiny King Rev. Let's put another King Rev down just so we can get the boost. That 75% boost is really nice. And then, of course, we'll put down a couple of Demon Mages. That way Demon Mage can give us an additional boost. Here we go. We'll put one back here. I don't think I'm going to need any more. We'll put one over here. That way we can see what additional damage Amon-Ra is going to do. That's actually pretty good. So he's doing 472,000 every time he attacks. And I'm assuming it's probably tick damage as well. People say the tick damage is every time that he attacks. Because I don't think he's doing all this damage in one false swift move here. He's attacking over time, if I'm not mistaken. You'll have to let me know in the comments if that is the case, but it seems like that's going to be the case. We're on wave 10. We should probably get rid of some of these crazy Franks. That way we can see Amon-Ra do his thing. There we go. He's he's scoping out the, the area, and he's checking out these soldier mummies. Yeah, he might do that damage right away. He absolutely might do that damage right away. The 275... I think, let me scoot these guys over. Let me put them in the middle now. We'll put one here, we'll put one here, because he is going to be able to reach this side here just a little bit. 
And that way I can get this Amon Ra on the other, or these Amon Ra's on the other side. And that way they can share this Demon Mage. Here we go. One, two. Go ahead and level him up here. Go ahead and put that Demon Mage in the middle. So now he's going to be able to attack. Let's move these crazy Franks to the back. Because their range is just absolutely crazy. We'll put them back here. And we'll place all six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll move this Demon Mage to the middle. And that way we can really showcase King Amon Ra. There we go. Alright, how are we looking over here now? Yeah, yeah, there's no tick damage, so he's doing that damage all in one. So he is like a King Midas in a sense. And he might actually do more damage per he might do more damage than King Midas, although King Midas's range on Nightmare was I believe 49, right around there. 4726968. We're gonna multiply that by 0.17. He's doing 80,000 damage every second. Which is pretty good. And you multiply that by four here. And then you're talking about some major damage. Look at these mummy crocs, 1.62, and yeah, see, look at that. There's no tick damage. It's absolutely a stomp. There we go. So he is doing stomp damage every time that he attacks. So we are going to need some help in the back here. But again, I would say that Nightmare would be the best. And then in order to, or if you want, if you get more of him, which I'm going to. I think I'm going to apply it to the range. Range would be really good, especially because of how slow his speed is. Now, these Guardians here, they're at almost 2 million health. It's not going to do... It's not going to take much off of him, because I just have these two working on him at the same time. So I'm going to need help from the back here, and I can place down some more Shiny King Revs. That's totally fine. Once again, not overly concerned. I'm waiting for the boss to come out. That way we can we can deal some decent damage to the boss. And I think Amon Ra, doesn't he do more damage in this in this crypt, or he does more damage to himself? Oh, did you see that? Da yeah, look at that. It's like the rocks are, are being thrown up in the air. That actually is pretty cool. So we're on wave 18, now wave 19. Oh no, we're in the purple crypt. I'm sorry, we're in the purple crypt. We should have tried him on in his own crypt, because then I think that's where his damage is doubled, or at least he gets a boost in his own crypt. Wave 19, and these maps take about eight and a half, right between eight and nine minutes, roughly. All right, wave 19 is finished up. Wave 20, here we go. We're going to wait for the boss to come out. Who do we get? Who do we get? There he is. And Crypt King Bassett. There we go. Come on, now start doing some damage on him. There he is. Alright, good stuff. I think we might have to rely on our enemies in the back. And your hero has been chosen. Oh no, which hero was chosen? Looked like he went after King Amon Ra, but it might have been a hero in the back. Oh, it was Demon Mage. He took out Demon Mage. There we go. Back to the lobby. So what do you think of King, King Amon Ra? Is he good? Do you like him? You're going to try and get him? I think everyone should try and get him. It's just, I, you know, without knowing the right combinations yet. Oh, look at King Bassett. <laughs> All right. There we go. We'll take that for sure. That's pretty cool. I already have one of those, so maybe I'll... I don't know. But if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell. Thanks again for watching, everyone. Hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!